Hello everyone, George Rambler Man here. Hope everybody's doing well. It's mid-May. Mid-80s. A few white puffy clouds. Gorgeous Saturday afternoon to be out riding. And uh, today I'm actually taking a ride over uh, kind of west of where I live, over towards Carter's Lake and Dam. I'm going to stop in at the uh, visitor center up here maybe give you a few shots of the lake and the dam but the real reason I'm headed over this way is I'm checking out a cabin that uh, Mrs. George Ramblin and man and I might uh, rent for Memorial Day weekend it's not terribly cheap but it's uh, it's not too far from Carter's Dam it's kind of upstream on the Kusawati River it's, it's a really nice cabin it's right on the river trying to see if I can rent a canoe or, or some little boat or something to take with us. Just have a nice long weekend and try to <laughs> try to get away from being cooped up at home. I guess this coronavirus thing is going on two, two and a half months now and uh, I'm getting pretty tired of it but I, I tell you here in Georgia our governor has been pretty aggressive as far as opening things back up and he's actually started opening things up again for business in a gradual manner and now businesses are opening, restaurants are opening, I mean there are guidelines but pools are opening, our neighborhood pool opened this weekend and uh, life is uh, slowly getting back to normal. I, our business is obviously taking a hit during this time but we picked up some contracts in fact, uh, next couple of weeks, I'm sending some of my guys out to uh, San Antonio, Texas to look at a job and up, in, up to Indianapolis and over to Charlotte. So we're starting to get out and travel again. And, you know, some people might think, oh, that's not such a great idea, but uh, it may not be. But, you know, I've been thinking a lot, a lot about this uh, you know the new normal what they call it or what life's going to be like and uh, this lockdown and how it's affected everybody and you know you see on the news in a lot of states especially up in Michigan and Pennsylvania here lately you know the governors are keeping those states pretty much clamped down and the people are just getting restless it's like you know is uh, you know we have to earn a living and we know there's a risk to, to going out and, and being out and we, we understand that but you know we're not making any money our families are hungry and we, we've got to get going and I hope it doesn't get uh, you know violent with these protests but you know the longer you keep people locked down and I, I think Americans just by nature and maybe humans by nature you know you want to work you want to support yourself support your family and just staying at home and is uh, is really getting to a lot of people. I read the article about the 77 year old barber up in Michigan who basically said look I'm opening up my barber shop. I'm, I'm 77 years old. I got one foot in the grave anyway. I've been cutting hair for almost 60 years and I applied for unemployment and they turned me down and I, I'm not making any income. I'm going to open my shop and He's in a real battle with the governor up there, and I don't know how it's going to turn out. Uh, you know, but basically they said they could just drag me out of my barbershop and throw me in jail. And I think it's so ironic that they would threaten him with jail when they're letting out <laughs> criminals, you know, left and right. I saw an article where the sheriff of in Fresno County, California, in Fresno, California, said, you know, I don't have time to enforce these lockdown orders. I'm too busy arresting all the criminals that we've let out of jail lately. I thought that was uh, kind of humorous, but probably uh, some truth to it. But you know, I was thinking about this whole thing of, of, of what life's going to be like, and you know, uh, you know, life is about risk, and there always there is a certain risk that you take for anything. You know, there's a lot of people who would never think about riding a motorcycle or going skydiving or scuba diving or skiing. I mean, it's just too dangerous for them, and they their risk tolerance just prevents them from doing that. And I completely understand that. Uh, you know, I, I, I don't think I want to go skydiving either. 
but you know what I love riding a motorcycle and it's just a you know I know it's a dangerous thing and I, I accept the risk and I think that's what a lot of people are thinking about this whole coronavirus thing is look we got to get going again and I'm really sad that it's become such a partisan political issue where you know one side thinks that the other side has uh, got ulterior motives for anything uh, uh, sad state of affairs our country's in, but you know that's where we are. This is a nice road here, Georgia 136. I'm west of uh, you know Georgia Highway 5 and the main road that goes up into the mountains and headed over towards Carter's Lake and Carter's Dam right now. And this is a pretty curvy, twisty road, and it's really, really nice. I, I really like it. Give you a little view here from my rear, my camera that's facing backwards. I cross into Murray County. Not too much traffic out today, but just a very nice, very nice to be, day to be out. And uh, this cabin online looks really nice that uh, Mrs. George Ramleman and I are going to rent. I don't think I can get to it today because it's behind a gated, a gate that you have to have a code for. But it is right on the uh, river. If we do pull the trigger and do this over Memorial Day, I'll definitely take some videos and show it to you. I think that was the road I was supposed to take to take the uh, to go to the visitor center. My GPS says <laughs> it says it's up here to the right a little bit, but uh, as I'm going over the. Talking Rock Creek now, and you can see the lake. Carter's Lake and Carter's Dam has been here since probably the mid-70s. They started building this dam in the early 60s. It's an earthen dam. It's not a concrete dam. It's all earth, and it backs up a pretty good, uh, pretty good, pretty good lake. Carter's Lake. It's an Army Corps of Engineer Lake managed by Mobile District and it's uh, I think it's one of the deeper lakes uh, you know reservoirs in Georgia which is a really nice uh, they, have, they have good fishing and one thing I like the Corps has not allowed anybody to develop homes around it it's pretty pretty wild around the lake and that makes it nice Dams up the Coosawati River. The Coosawati River runs from Tennessee into Georgia. I'm not sure where it goes on from here. Here we go, powerhouse. Well, this is the dam. I don't think this is the Lake Visitor Center, but uh, maybe we'll get a little view of the dam here. miles to Powerhouse Road, so that sounds like that's the dam. Wow, what a beautiful view, the Blue Ridge Mountains, North Georgia. Alright, let's take a ride on Powerhouse Road, hope it's paved. This Garmin GPS took me down a dirt road a couple of weeks ago, or gravel road, and that was not a pleasant experience. That does not appear to be the case here. Corps of Engineers, they generate some power at this dam. It's uh, used, obviously it dams up a nice big lake for recreation, but you can see, I don't know if you can see it really, but they, I see all these power lines here headed to a substation, so they do generate power at this dam. And you can see it straight ahead. That is an earth dam. That is a huge, that, that's the largest earth dam east of the Mississippi River. And wow, that is a massive earthen dam. This is the powerhouse and it's all closed and I can't get here obviously, but uh, I'm gonna park my motorcycle here and see, <laughs> give you a little bit of a view of this. This is, this is something else.
straight ahead is the powerhouse and you can see they had to blast a lot of rock <laughs> to get this powerhouse put in there and that earthen dam that is a huge earth dam they said that is the largest earth dam east of the Mississippi and now I believe it I've seen a lot of earthen dams when I was with the Corps of Engineers but I've never seen one that big if there's a road you can get on up on the top of it that would be an interesting interesting drive probably a great view of the lake that's the Kusawati River downstream right there There it is, Carter's Dam, Murray County, Georgia, on the Coosawati River.